Portrait, Flashlight. Off for video. Action button. Photo. Press this. Silent mode. Okay. Super fast. It's working and it's vibrating at the same time. Upside down. Weather. So how many function was that? Total five or six. Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today, I brought you this exciting discovery that I have about iPhone 15 Pro action button, multi-function action button. Difference between iPhone 14 series and iPhone 15 series is this action button up here instead of a toggle switch. Now it, there's an action button. So what this does is when you go to settings, it has an action button menu. So now you can select what you want to do. So there are several options that you can do. Action button, hold on to it. It becomes a silent mode. Hold on to it. It becomes a ring mode. If you just push it for a little bit, it doesn't do anything. It will say hold for silent. See, again, hold for silent. I wish they upgraded so if you do double click, something happens or triple click, but nothing happens. You just have to hold them for a long time. Then it will turn into the silent mode or the ring mode again so next one focus mode you can do do not disturb you can do that i don't use that function at all so so if you go to camera mode there's photo selfie video portrait portrait selfie hold on to this it goes into photo mode and you can just take photos or you can set it to video so if you hold on to the action button it goes straight to video so it's so convenient super fast next is flashlight this is what i had for all this time so right there there's a flashlight real bright here you go and again hold on to hold on to this and it goes off after that voice memo if you want to do quick voice memo hold on to this now it's recording my voice let's hold on to it it ends the voice memo that quick very useful. Then there's shortcut. This is what I'm gonna show you. But we'll pass that. Accessibility, I don't use it at all. And no action, that's useless. So why would you do that? So for now, it's gonna be on the shortcut. So now I linked it to my shortcuts and then silent mode. In there, there's all these programs and settings and instructions for iPhones to follow. So you can do this, watch. So you can set the action buttons function based on the iPhone's orientation. That's amazing. So you can do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six different functions set into one button. So watch. So right now, again, set to shortcut and silent mode that I created. You can change the title wherever you want. Portrait mode, press it. Flashlight comes on. Hold on to it. It toggles back and forth. Flashlight and it vibrates too. See, it goes off. If you rotate, then if you rotate landscape left, because this is left side, hold on to it. It becomes a video mode. Landscape left, video mode. Landscape right, because I usually take photos this way. Hold on to it. Now it went into photo mode. Okay, so hold on to it flat, silent. Ring. And upside down, you can do whatever, but I set it to my uh, Google Map. Okay, so let me show you how I did it. So I know a lot of YouTubers show you how to set up the best way, but no one showed you the different orientations and quickly you can set up up to six different apps or functions or uh, actions that you can do. So it's pretty amazing and I wanted to share with you. First thing you do is go to Apps Store, go to Action, Actions. This is the app that you have to download. So when you go into it, it will look like this. 
actions, open shortcuts. So it's a free app and this is an Apple uh, shortcut function. So you just need that first actions. Then what you do is go to into shortcuts. So one thing you have to check is when you do add action, just check if your iPhone has this function still or not. But if you just search for silent mode. So if it doesn't have any red symbol for actual phone and toggle, so then you have to do an extra step that I'll show you. So right now I'm using iOS 70 public beta, which is 17.1. And some people reported that silent mode function for the shortcut disappeared. There's a way that I'll show you. Go into this website. I'll put it on the description. So go into this cloud.com. It's someone created this template for you. And this includes a silent mode function in here that I couldn't find on my phone. If you have the silent mode already on your phone, you don't have to do this step to add shortcut. So then it added a template. So click this three dot to go in. See all this are here. But all I need is this function right here. Toggle silent mode. Click here, rename. Okay. So we'll call it tactical expedition. My YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Thank you. I included the link for you so you can just download this and open this template. I'll erase voice, just whatever I don't need. I, I'll just erase all this, delete, delete. I'll just leave it like that for now. If I delete that, that will disappear too. So I'll just leave it and go on to here. Click that, go to apps, go to actions. So th that's why we downloaded this app. Go down to get device orientation, boom. Click if, if device orientation, click on condition is, right now it's unknown, click that. Now you can see it. So you can do six settings, portrait, portrait upside down, landscape left, landscape right, face up, face down, portrait. I wanna set up a flashlight. So if device orientation is portrait, delete otherwise, then go to actions. Now, what do you want to do? Click X. If the div device orientation is portrait, go here, hit that X. Now, what do you want to do? So I want to do flashlight. Just type flashlight. Set flashlight. Hit that. It says turn flashlight on. That's only one function, on, right? So you can do on or off, but I don't need that. I need turn to toggle. So it goes back and forth, back and forth, toggle. Toggle flashlight, brightness, I want maximum. You can, you can hold on to this empty area and move it up. So end goes down. So this is one function right here. Get device orientation. If device orientation is portrait, toggle flashlight on and off. So flashlight is done. Next action, hit that. Again, you're repeating apps, actions, device, get device orientation another new function, right? So here, next action suggestion. If device orientation is unknown is now landscape left. Now it means landscape turning left, always erase otherwise. And what do you want to do? So go to action, hit that X. Now I want to have the camera open up. Camera video mode is on. So I want to do that camera. Um, here, video. Again, that's the next function. So there's from get device orientation to end if that's one for flashlight. Get orientation and down here, this is another for video. So open video. So you can click that and you can go video, photo, cinematic. You can do whatever you want, but I, I just want the video. Move this before the end. That's it. So video is done. Now, again, so you want to add another one. X, apps, action. Now I'm adding the third one. Get device orientation. If device orientation is unknown, landscape right. Otherwise is always X. Now what do you want to do with device uh, landscape right? I want the picture to open up. Um, so take, uh, not take a photo, but I'll just do portrait for now. Portrait, move that up, 
before the end if and hit that portrait and you can do photo from here photo i just want to take fo regular photo i want to add the silent mode but when it's facing up i want to use the silent mode so what i want to do is again go up apps action i'm starting another one get device orientation if device orientation continue is face up right now i'm gonna grab this toggle silent mode hold on to that and i'm dragging it down right so slowly i can just drag it down right just slowly just just drag it down it doesn't matter but you just have to put it into the right column keep bringing it down see device orientation is faced up toggle silent mode so erase otherwise so if orientation is facing up toggle or turn but i want toggle right silent mode and i will delete uh, hit that off because that's like a confirmation so i don't need that i just want to move it back and forth back and forth toggle you can add another one device orientation that's we're starting another one if device orientation is faced down otherwise it's erased now what do you want to do so you can do different things like all these apps right you can i don't know what you you guys use all the time wallet weather you can do weather okay weather just put show weather not get weather. these don't work so just show weather show weather in my location click that my location or different locations and move this before the end now hit done so that's it and i found another interesting thing is like now all the five functions are done but I open that up and go to categories go to scripting if you go down there's a lot of functions vibrate device so add that so hit that and then we'll just add put that at the end that means every time i press the action button device will vibrate when it's successful now click done boom tactical expedition is done so if you want to check it again click that three button and all these complicated commands are there but like I showed you, it's super simple. It's just one at a time, you're just adding it on. And if you wanna change it to video to something else, you can just change it anytime or you delete it or whatever you want, done. So to test it, you gotta go to settings, uh, action button, shortcut, but click that and select tactical expedition because I just made that, right? Boom. Okay, so it is complete. So now we have to test it, right? So now this is in portrait mode. So we're gonna hit the action button for flashlight. Flashlight is working and hit it again. It's off and it's vibrating. You can hear it again. Flashlight on, which is on and flashlight off. Now landscape left. So very first time you'll get this message. Don't allow, allow once, always allow. So you click always allow, and it will be like that, video mode. Again, Land landscape left, hit the action button. It vibrates and it goes into that mode. So landscape right, hit that action button. Again, all, always allow. Now photo mode, because that's what, how we set it. This is face up mode, hit it. So always allow silent mode. Here again, ring ringing. So I can show you from here. See silent mode. It's that fast ringing mode. Now it's upside down. Hit that. It's going to show you Honolulu weather right now. Just to recap, portrait, flashlight. It's working off for video video is working action button photo the upper volume button to take a photo okay face up 
press this silent mode okay super fast it's working and it's vibrating at the same time and upside down weather so how many function was that total five or six you can set up however you want different background See, i like the cat too here look at that <laughs> anyways hopefully this will make your iphone 15 pro or iphone 15 series much better if you have the action button because it is very very useful as you can see it's much better than the toggle button so you're not missing anything i mean this you can do up to six functions all at once different orientation i think that's much better much faster and uh you know later maybe i uh, ios 18 maybe they'll include double click triple click whatever but with this shortcut that apple supplies you can do this many functions thank you for viewing my video and please subscribe <laughs> it will help me out a big time anyways thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one